I woke up to some heartbreaking news in the motorsports world that warranted the creation of this video. As of 2020, motorcycles will no longer have a spot in the world famous Pikes Peak Hill Climb in Colorado Springs, Colorado, my home state. The Pikes Peak International Hill Climb is an integral part of America's motorsports history, and while motorcycles have been a regular fixture at the event for the last 29 years, the board that runs the hill climb has opted not to have motorcycle class for the 2020 event. This announcement, made by the advisory board for the Pikes Peak Hill Climb on Friday, comes soon after the untimely death of four-time PPIHC champion and Ducati rider Carlin Dunn at the 97th running of the race. This isn't the first time the motorcycles have been removed from the competition on America's mountain, and in fact, it was Ducati that helped keep the class going after several other high-profile accidents by creating a mentoring program where riders like Dunn instructed rookie riders how to get to the top quickly while being safe. Tom Osborne, chairman of the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb Board of Directors, in a statement said, Motorcycles have been part of the PPIHC for the past 29 years, and their history on America's Mountain dates back to the inaugural running in 1916. That said, the motorcycle program hasn't been an annual event. They've run 41 of the 97 years we've been racing on Pikes Peak. It's time to take a hard look at every aspect of the race, including the motorcycle program, and determine whether or not the event may change. The race to the clouds has arguably gotten significantly more dangerous since a Sierra Club lawsuit forced it to be paved earlier in the decade. The increased grip has led to dramatically increased speeds on the course, and those speeds have made consequences for riders especially more severe. Three of the seven deaths associated with Pikes Peak Hill Climb have occurred since the course was fully paved in 2012. All of those involved racers on motorcycles, Harlan Dunn in 2019, Carl Sorensen in 2015, and Bobby Gooden in 2014. The other motorcycle death happened in 1982 after rider Bill Gross crashed and was hit by another rider. As motorcycle fans, we can only hope that the legacy of motorcycles on Pikes Peak doesn't end on a tragic note on Carlin Dunn's death, and that the race officials can devise a way to help keep riders safer while going faster than ever. Now, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Pikes Peak Hill Climb has gotten too dangerous for motorcycles? Will this be a turning point for other dangerous motorcycle races like the Isle of Man? Let me know your thoughts below in the comments. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you always know when new content is ready for your viewing pleasure. That's it for now guys, 